So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Ketu in the 12th house of your Dasamsa chart. As in what happens when Ketu, the south node of the moon, is in the 12th house of D10 Dasamsa, which is the chart of your detailed analysis of the career, your obligation to society, and what the society and the world gets to see about you. Okay. So, as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what, uh, you know, nakshatra it's in, even in the Samsha, because my report right now does actually show you that. I don't know about the future. Right now it does. And so if you want to know that, you can go to the link karesastrology.com here or in the description under shop section, where you'll find my reports, books, and consultations, including my link to the Academy, Makavadik Shalji Academy where I'm going to be soon opening up my Nani course as well, which is going to be actually quite long. So I'm just mentally preparing for that. So, 12th house. So 12th house of the Samsha, okay, represents foreign journeys related to your profession and career. Expenses related to your profession and career. Investments you make in your profession and career. It represents the end of a profession as well, okay? So especially when we are looking at retirement, we naturally look at the 12th house and the 8th house because 8th house represents like death, right? Death and rebirth. So it represents like ending of one's professional life. 12th house represents exit. It's kind of like samadhi. So you take samadhi from your work. So usually you will say, especially in when a person is retiring, you will see, especially I've seen it in Charadasha, the role of the sign in the 8th and the 12th house or 8th or 12th from the uh, Charadasha playing that role. And sometimes you'll see it at 50, sometimes you can see it at 60, 70, 80, you know. And sometimes you don't, like sometimes a person continuously working and then, you know, they exit. So, you have Ketu here. And Ketu... Naturally, obviously, we know Ketu is a representation of moksha, ending, you know, and it is also represents certain unfinished past life karmas of our, uh, you know, soul's journey. So here, one thing you will see with Ketu is that a person with Ketu in the 12th house becomes blind towards relaxation and they become workaholic. Why? Because the sensory point, the five indriyas, which are known as the five senses, are where? In the sixth house. Because Rahu will be directly opposite in the sixth. And sixth house is work. Sixth house is artha. Sixth house is that pending karma of career. So whatever you like, if you watched my Rahu in the sixth house video, you saw that that the person is completely immersed in work. For them, work is everything. For them, striving for success is everything. And what happens when a person is workaholic? Like, for example, you take someone like Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk or Bill Gates or any of the, uh, you know, um, big, you know, not wealthy, just, just innovative people. Wealth is just the byproduct of their innovation. But an innovative person who feels they have to kind of bring something, do something with their life, they completely forget about the enjoyment. Because remember, 12th house is also represents bed pleasures, right? So 12th house of the Samcha represents the relaxation and pleasure you do at work, meaning when you take vacations, right? Most people who have nine to five, they accumulate vacation hours. And so they take vacation, they take, they do, they, they feel relaxed. Here, this person will be oblivion to that unless they're reminded of it that, hey, you got vacations over built up. And here they will also, uh, because of, uh, you know, Ketu represents the antidote to the issues of Rahu, it actually kind of becomes imperative for a person to take time off because you're so caught up in the senses and senses, and remember the sensory world, especially now with social media, you can see it's producing people's people with very, very short attention span. Like 
literally memory of a fly is happening. So what happens with Ketu? Ketu represents that re rejuvenation. Ketu represents taking out toxicities. Like for example, Ketu represents the rectum. So when you eat, whatever is toxic or whatever is the waste goes out. But if imagine if you don't pay attention to that and you keep eating, eating, you're going to have health issues. Like for example, that constipation can create major health issues. So it's important to discrete something. It's important to take something out. And especially with Ketu in the 12, obviously there will be several breaks in you trying to go to foreign places. But eventually, whenever a person is destined to go, they go there. You know, because, and then of course, just by the samcha, we cannot determine this person is going to go to four lines. You have to see it from the birth and the fruits of the birth, which is, which is Navamsha and, Dwa, uh, and uh, Dwada Sam, not Dwada Samsha, uh, Chatrava Samsha. You'll have to look at that. And yet, you will also see, whenever the samcha is there with Gedu in the 12th, you always land up in a place in four lands where there's going to be a strong past life connection. What do I mean by strong, strong past life connection? For example, like here I am in the United States, but I've never felt like, oh, I have a past life connection with this country. I love this country. I enjoy this country. It has given me everything I want. But it's not like, oh my God, unless I go to some place, that I haven't gone to this far, I'll be like, oh my God, I feel like this is deja vu. I've been here. So what happens with Ketu is that whenever this person goes to a foreign place, they'll go to a certain foreign place where they will then, then feel this jolt. Like, they'll, like, for example, you went for a conference. Uh, you went from India to, I don't, I don't know, let's say you went to India to Greece. And you're roaming around the streets. And you end up in some corner. And you sit at some bench. And when you're sitting, you're like, I've been here before. I have sat here before. I know this place. You just feel it. Even though you don't know this place, you've been there the first time in this life. Internally, you're like, I know this place. So you will see this happen with this Ketu in the 12th in the Samsha. But because it's in the Samsha, you will be traveling for work or performing some kind of a car. And it, it, even outside of work too, because remember, this is just what the world may get to witness and see. So if you go with a group of people, because in your birth chart, it shows that you have to travel. And so with this Dashamsa Ketu, that, and if you're traveling within that period of the Ketu, it will show, well, you, you've got some unfinished karma with this place. Because again, Dasamsha, the karma chart. And then you will feel like, okay, maybe I need to come back here. I need to find uh, a ability to relocate here so I can stay. And that happens not often, but there are stories where a person, like, for example, I know this one uh, lady, I think she's Jewish, uh, and she went to India, and she put her feet on in the water of the Ganga in Rishikesh. The moment she put her feet in the water in the Ganga and Rishikesh, she suddenly realized, I've been here and this is my home. This is it. This is home. And she said, I'm never going back. And she has now permanently settled in India. I have actually, uh, I've seen some of her videos. I don't, she has like curly long hairs. I think she's probably 50, 60 now. I, or maybe even uh, older. But that's what happened. There. A foreign journey brings about a past life connection with this particular uh, Dasamsha. But one of the biggest things you will see is that these people don't want to waste time on enjoyment. They are, they are here to work. They are here to give everything for themselves to our thought. Now, how much or how much to the extreme they will do it, you will have to see what planner replacements are because also 12th house is escape. Maybe Ketu in the 12th house also shows that there is a past life desire to escape for. And this is where you will see the connection of 
planets with Ketu in the Dasamsha or around Ketu or looking at Ketu. Or actually not even looking, they, they have, the planets have to be influenced by Ketu because Ketu, if it's being influenced by other planets, it's going to be more uh, reluctant to escape and more determined to work. But what Ketu influences, then you will see there's this desire for look for another type of conscious life. Okay. So this was our Ketu video of the Samsha. I am still thinking which other divisional chart I should cover next. Okay. Especially because I'm only going to cover that I deal with the most. Okay. So you guys will see next week what comes. All right. So tab tak kele aage dijiye. Namaskar. Thank you.